Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Shadow of Rose. Let's continue, shall we? We definitely did all this. What's the shit? There's something weird going on with the saves in this game. Um, they're definitely uh, not always applying. Anyway, we got ourselves the bust, so... Let's go and have a little look, because we saved it over there, and again, okay, that's twice that's happened now. We literally saved it there, but it's reloaded us, uh, okay. Alright, maybe it doesn't matter what type writer you use, it just dropped you in the rough area, I don't know. Right, anyway, so let's see, oh, no, we're not going to put the doll in there, that would be stupid. That would not fit. Just saying, Rose. You're better than that. I think. Maybe. Alright. So, what have we got to fiddle with today? Oh, we have some reading. Very nice. So, I'll take some dolls. Hello. No one wants to be her friend. What a loser. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I mean, honestly. So... We now have two dolls, um, which is good. So, what dolls? We've got doll pose one, which is Catherine, and we have Lucy. Okay, right, let's get out of here then. Hello. Well, you weren't here before, were you? I remember performing surgery on you in the main game. Alright, well, let's have a little look, shall we? So we've got two. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm sure this is a very familiar scene. This, by the way, is quite a cool little thing. We need to clean that gross mould off her. Well, that's not fantastic, is it? So, if we look at this stand, it's holding a broom, Lucy. And they're actually um, labelled here, which is kind of interesting. You need to kind of uh, take stock of the um, poses they're in. Oof. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fuck you. I actually really like Rose's voice actress here. She's really good. So we have Jimmy's room key. Alright, well, we better take the dolls. I suppose. Let's go back down. Because Jimmy's room is this way. Jimmy's room. Nice red key. Kids can be so cruel, man. They really can. <clears throat> you know, this corridor always reminds me of that uh, bit from Resident Evil 7. When you first see Mia climbing up those stairs. Well, let's break your bloody core thing. Who the hell is laughing? Hmm. Okay. Well, they're certainly not too bad at doing this whole psychological horror gig, are they? Not too bad at all. So there's another doll. God, this is so creepy. It is pretty creepy, but... This will not have a name. Okay. Alright, well, I guess this one doesn't have a name. That's fine. You don't all need to be named, I suppose. Oh look, Mum's following us around. What are you doing here again? Not a fan of this. Don't like the way you're following me. Don't need to be supervised. Thank you. Right, so three dolls this time. So where do we see three dolls? Uh, it was back down here. I mean, I don't mind this, but I'd rather be shooting things in the face, because this doesn't scare me at all, but that's just me. 
Right, so we have... So we've... Got a bucket of water above her. No one wants to be her friend, what a loser. The label is completely illegible. Alright, well, that looks like a pose that's holding something. Lucy, there you go. Um, arms outstretched, I guess. Like so. Holding the present, yep. And, well, we only have one left, don't we? Pointing and laughing. That's pretty cold, to be honest. Giving her a present and then dunking water on her head. Kids can be so cruel. I know. I was one. A long time ago now. Okay. I guess mum's not here. Oh, there she is. You really need to stop following me around. I mean, it's getting a bit absurd at this point. Right, so. We need you. We need... I guess that's going to be the point and laugh kid. Which is Catherine. And we are going to have... Uh... That's holding the firewood, kid. So that's holding out. Oh, no, no, we have. I was going to say, wait a minute. We don't have enough dolls. Well, we do. There we go. Beautiful. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? Have we done something wrong? Yes, we have. You. And you can get the old switcheroo. So we need pointing and laughing, kid. Holding that. There we go. She's the one that's lighting the fire. Uh, right. Black haired doll. There we go. Seriously. Fuck you. Yeah, I know, Rose. It is pretty, pretty harsh. Dead. So sad. Hmm, do we really want to pick up the phone? I guess we don't have much choice. Jeez, Rose, you're still looking for the crystal? Fine, I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mummy hmm. might be upset that I'm helping you, though. Mummy. Who are you? Hmm. Who are you indeed? So, Mum's gonna be pissed that she's helping us. How curious. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's go back. Let's play statues. Um. Well, I mean, I don't know what statues is, but... Okay. It's game over if they catch you. Alright. Well, don't look away. Now, if anyone's seen Doctor Who, this next bit will be very familiar. Let's just, like, drop down a few different saves here. See if that makes any difference. So what have we got here? Oh right. So now we have to go and grab us a fuse because of course we do. Now here's the rub with this bit. If you take your eyes off it, it starts moving towards you. It's very SCP. As you can see. It's kind of cool kind of an interesting concept I dig it I just wish I had a shotgun and was shooting things now what would make this really awful don't you think is if they added extras now what's interesting here is 
there is quite a bit of leeway. Um, so, as long as you're kind of looking in the general direction, you're okay. I think we've actually gone the wrong way. Yeah. We've gone the wrong way. That's the medicine room. Where do we need to go? It's not the storage room. Right, we need to go. Now, I don't know if we can actually touch her. Say touch her. Touch the doll. I'm not sure. To be honest. But we're not going to risk it. I know if we get too close, she uh, she has a little play with us. And uh, it's not a good play, to be honest. Definitely uh, an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. It's enough of that. So now we need to go back around the houses. Yeah, you stay there, you. I mean, it's not bad. Like I say, I get the idea of it. It's just, uh, I don't, I don't get scared of games. So I guess it's a little bit lost on me. So now we have the fuse. Which is good. And now we need to go past. But look. Look what we have here. We have extra eyes. Oh, hello. There she is. Yeah, this is a bit more of a fuck factor. Now there's two of them. Also, I think on Hardcore, um, it seems to be <clears throat> a little bit less forgiving. Which is kind of curious here. Right. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more delicate, isn't it? Right. See, as soon as we look away from that one, we need to get down that hallway. We could, yeah, we can slip into the kitchen, but we need to constantly look behind us. Okay, I'm wondering if we need to let her get a little bit further away. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is going to be a dick. This is going to be a dick. Maybe. Maybe we need to get... Let that other doll get a little bit closer to us. So... Let's grab that. Look away. Jesus Christ. A little bit closer. There we go. Right. That's better, I think. Because now she's got a lot further to go. And we're still kind of looking in the right direction. There we go. There we go. Okay. 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 Now there was... Yeah, so we've got to get towards the door. A little bit like that. Uh, gee, wouldn't it be awkward, like, if they threw a third one in at us? There we go. Whew! <laughs> yes, you little fuckers. 
Alright. This is okay. This is okay. We've got this. This will work nicely. Now I guess it'd be rude not to top it off with a fourth, huh? Come on, Rose. Come on. There we go. Through the door. Ah, okay. Done it. Yeah. That was something a little bit different, I guess. Now, this is where it um, really what is going on here? gets to the bit that I don't like. All that so far was kind of fine. Now we're tiny. <laughs> Poor little Rose. And we're going to save at number 10. Uh, number five, uh, number one. Now, the reason for that is, in the back bedroom. there's actually, uh, it's not an achievement, but it's a challenge in the game to get through this bit without being caught. Uh, I'm not going to torture you guys by doing that on this playthrough. Let's play hide and seek. Can you make it all the way here without getting caught? Yeah, this is actually quite tough. And not a fan of this section because I really don't like um, sneaking and stealth. I don't mind it if it's an option, but I really don't like being forced into it. But there we go. I do have a little bit of an advantage here because I've played this before but it's kind of a small advantage it looks like the dolls are moving a bit quicker on this difficulty now I don't know how good they are if they can hear us I don't know I'm gonna say I don't think they can but this bit took me a really bloody long time to actually complete because it goes on and on and on and on. Uh, and I think that's probably one of my biggest problems with the section. They just drag it out. Way this section is the definition of filler. And it's a bit of a shame. But anyway, whatever. Ooh, whatever. We will get through it. I mean, it's a really interesting concept. I just... I just don't know if it's Resident Evil, you know? Right, okay. Let's get our little doll friend to piss off. Now, if they see you, there's no running away. <clears throat> They've got you. Um, which is unfortunate. But, that's the way it is, I guess. Now, I'm pretty sure there's one that goes down there. Or is there? Maybe there isn't. Which is nice. Now, what I would like here... Is more camera controls. Like the ability to lean would really help the section.
So that's what we've got to destroy to move on. <clears throat> Ready? Run! 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 Oh! Sneak! Sneak! Oh yeah, we can't use our powers when we're crouched down. I think I said that already, but not sure why. Okay. Run! Oof, fuck! Okay, that was close. That was actually really close. She's not wrong. This this section, uh, we're, we're not even really started yet. <laughs> right. So. You would have thought we'd be in range for that, but... Perhaps not. Come on. Wow, you have to get close to that, huh? So that teaches us a very valuable mechanic. We can drop those to make noise. And distract the dolls. Which is handy. And you better believe we're gonna need that. They see me, I'm toast. There's gotta be something I can do. Right, you wanna hide here for this bit. Sometimes you can hit these being quite, like decently far away. And sometimes you can't. It's kinda strange. Okay. Okay, we're good for now. I say, with confidence. This is very different for Resident Evil though, isn't it? Very different. Right, we've got more. There's always more. And this time, they're stationary, which is problematic. So, that's creepy, creepy, creepy. So, we've got a target there, but I'm guessing... Don't think we can get it from here. No, we can, I think. Think can we? No. Well, that's a uh, pain. Just have to get past them. Sure, you could get that from there. No. Okay. Well, figures, I guess. Oof. Oh, that one's going on a bit of a wander. There's another one there that's marching around as well. Okay, you can see they're starting to move quicker as well. Which is less than ideal. So I'm guessing that's the way we need to go. Run like a motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Oh, you fucking asshole. Now... Luckily, if we get caught, 
Um, it hurts, but you don't die. And you do regen your health. Now, when you get caught a second time, um, sometimes you die and sometimes you don't. I'm guessing on hardcore, next time we get hit, it's going to be an instant kill. But, as you may remember, we don't have any health. Because we had all of our goodies taken away. Which is bad. And also, when you're injured, you start stumbling around like a crackhead. Which also isn't ideal. But as we can see, one advantage of being hit is that it will eliminate one enemy. It's a small thing, but it does make a difference. Right. So that's going to distract some of them. Maybe all of them? There we go. Really annoyed that we got caught there. But it is what it is. Guess who's back? Back again. Come on, there we go. Uh, I got an idea. No <laughs> way. Yes way. Now, if she catches you, it is a one-hit game over. She's kind of annoying. Well, I'm sure you can imagine. Kind of a cool death scene. Basically, um, eats our head. Which is a little bit awkward. Actually. I might show that off. I'll show it off in a minute. Okay. Now there's a sprig of white sage here which we can use to defend ourselves. Which is really nice. But again, you really don't want to waste this stuff. Now I don't know if there's any way that we can actually can yeah there's no way that we can oh ow 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 <laughs> ow and ow yeah that hurts so um i guess on this difficulty one hit is all you can survive which kind of makes sense you know what we'll round the video off by showing what happens if we get eaten by this thing Yeah, it's a very wet, sloppy, slippy sound. It's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so fuck this part. I hate it. Um, it, uh, it kind of ruined the, the DLC for me because this isn't why I play Resident Evil. But once we get through it, it does get better again. Um... So, anyway, till next time.